Yes, why am I playing Christmas tunes in November? Well, as musicians, it's actually quite late to be playing Christmas tunes. I've actually recorded a Christmas album for someone before in July. It was really weird standing there in shorts and playing Christmas music. But for the last five years, I've got my students at Cambridge Saxophone to put together a Christmas project. And I was just shooting the video for them today uh, for their Christmas project for this year. And it got me thinking, you know, we've done the Blues Challenge and we've done those kind of things. Why don't we do a Christmas tune challenge for you guys on my YouTube community. We can all do it. Use the hashtag Christmas Sax. Don't misspell it. And you, I advise you, get hold of this book. I'll link to them below. This is the tenor version, but you can get the alto version. There's also a piano book as well if you play piano. And what I suggest you do is you pick one of the great arrangements out of this book and you blow it and you play it and you stick it on there in December. Uh, maybe put more, more than one on and do it. Now, um, there are written out solos, which are great. They're a really, really good way of learning to practice, learning to improve your reading. Um, but, you know, if you fancy improvising, as I was doing a bit over that silent night, then go for it. I'd suggest, I was going to suggest we all do silent night. That's my first one. So let's all do silent night. But if you want to do others and you want to record them, get them ready. Uh, and what I will do... A couple of weeks out of Christmas, we'll do what we've done on the DF Blues Challenge and the other challenges we've done. I will go through and I'll give you a little bit of critique and we'll go through and we'll, we'll, we'll share those videos with each other. So a hashtag Christmas sacks, sacks. Okay, uh, and what we'll do is we'll, we'll do those. I'm also delighted to say I'm going to be doing uh, another advent calendar uh, of 24 other saxophone players that I didn't feature in this playlist here. If you haven't, what well, say playlist? Yeah, well, the playlist, the YouTube playlist is there. There are 24 uh, playlists of saxophone players over there. Also, you can get them on the Cambridge Saxophone website. A little detailed bio, and then you know, 24 uh, different saxophone players, uh, and a playlist I put together for you for Apple Music and Spotify. Um, so yeah, there we go. Let's you know playing Christmas music is great also coming up at Christmas is jazz carols at uh, Methodist Central Hall Westminster again linked below there it's free totally free on the 15th of December Juliet Kelly is coming to sing with us we had an amazing time last year doing jazz carols Brigitte Flick came over from Berlin last year amazing uh, musicians amazing singers uh, we had a really really good fun doing jazz carols it's a very very little different twist on some of the carols you know and some of the carols maybe you don't know it's also going to be recorded for radio broadcast over christmas so you know you could have your your voice on the radio if you come along your singing voice doing some jazz carols it's uh, well worth coming along to something you can bring your friends to the jazz isn't too kind of in your face uh, the the carols are not too in your face you know kind of the message isn't too much in your face it's a great opportunity to come along sing some carols at Christmas, beautiful building, amazing music, and uh, it'd be delighted, I would be delighted to welcome you there. It feels like ages since we've had a chat in the car. That's partly because I don't have a phone holder uh, anymore, and I can't find a magnetic one to fit uh, this phone. 
but partly just not be doing it an awful lot. So anyway, heading off now to Hot Numbers Cafe, which I did a vlog about here, uh, their store in Cambridge that lost its music license, music license a little while ago. I'm really pleased to say, it sounds like the, sounds like, no pun intended, that they're getting it back. And they've also opened a new venue right near my new house. And uh, we're gonna go and pay a little visit to it now. time of year the way the nights draw in so early and it's like you know not even half past four and it's nearly dark but you've got to go through the dark times to have the good times haven't you so uh, anyway let's get back to the studio and I want to talk to you very quickly about my two books the ebook and the practice planner which I still have some copies and it's still worth getting I literally have a handful of copies of my practice planner left. It's so amazing that so many of you have been, just checking the mics on, have been so good and going through this. I'm going to do more things about the practice planner uh, in next week, talking about how you should be going about now as we approach into December. You now you should have done September, October, November. I appreciate if you're just buying it now, you're not going to have done September, October, but certainly as you're going from November into December, this is where I wanted the practice plan to really start taking hold, to really start thinking about the goals that you're making um, and how you're going to be able to transform your New Year's resolutions when it comes to playing the saxophone. Now, as I mentioned in this vlog, we've got the ebook, the long term book. I'm absolutely astounded by the amount of sales. I'm go definitely going to do another ebook. It's been fantastic. But the link is below if you don't have one already. 10 fantastic long tone exercises that are gonna make your saxophone sing. And as I said, I promise you, if you spend six months doing these exercises, you will not need to change your mouthpiece when it comes around to the summer next year. So don't forget, if you've uh, got any comments or anything else like that you'd like me to address, any questions, I really haven't done a Q&A vlog for a long time. Obviously not about the practice planner, they're gonna come up uh, next week or the week after, definitely. But if you've got any general Q&A, I wanna make the next vlog a Q&A, so make sure you send your questions and comments in below or to e via email to me and yeah. I'm really looking forward to starting this Christmas sax project. It's going to be really exciting to hear you guys playing some Christmas music. Maybe just start practicing now, get the books ordered and see where you go. But I say in a couple of weeks, I'll do a little reminder and let's get out, um, you know, let's fill YouTube and Instagram and Facebook with uh, Christmas songs played on the saxophone. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you check out my last vlog here. And this is this time last year when I was in Berlin having a great time playing uh, a few concerts over there. So thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. I'll see you really soon. Bye bye.